Hello everybody, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist, and we're gonna get a little bit of an early start today. I'm gonna go over some of the tracing first, and then we'll get started with all of the beautiful painting experience. So let me talk about the trace first here. I've got mine already all done, and let me show you the traceable. So this is an example of what that looks like. And basically all we do is we use a colored pencil over the top. That way you can know where you've been, especially with a really intricate design like this, you wanna be able to keep up with all the lines you've already done. And so you wanna make sure that it's very visible as you do it. So you can see how, you can definitely see where I have been. And this is the actual one that I did. So you can see how it's very obvious where all of that turquoise line work is. So I can see that. And then our kit comes with the graphite paper. So that makes the transfer process really easy. I also just did a video yesterday that shows how you can do the transfer with a graphite rubbing with just using a basic pencil. So if you are using our digital products, you can absolutely do that with just a pencil at home. That's another way to do it. So, and I will be, that video is on YouTube, so you can always go see it. It's right there at the very top, so you can check that out on YouTube. So real easy to find there. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about all of our supplies. So I've got everything ready nearby. I've got three lovely brushes here. All right, so I've got my mama brush, and then my little buddy brush, and then my little bit brush, and then I also have a lot of other brushes for sale on my website, but those are our kit brushes that come with every kit. So you for sure have those if you got our kit. And then you have the option to buy additional packets of brushes too. So sometimes I use bigger brushes as well, and I'll be sure and point that out. But every now and again, I pull out Big Daddy. And so I'll have Big Daddy sometimes too. All right, so lovely brushes. Then I wanna make sure I've got water nearby. So I've got a bucket of water. And then you can use paper towels or just a rag, and then I've got just real basic plates nearby, and then I do have a little bit of extra paint all loaded up, and then the kit actually comes with our paint set, so it is a really nice heavy-bodied acrylic paint, really nice with like 12 tubes of paint there, so really long-lasting. And let me show you what it looks like open. So that's what it looks like open, so really nice there. All right, now let me talk about in terms of application. I always work in this vertical state so that y'all can see it really well here in the monitor. But if you're working at home, especially in this first stage where we do this nice wash over the top, I always encourage people to put it flat. And then that way you can work with a lot of water over the top and it really helps extend the paint. So it makes it much more fluid and easy to use. So. I can't do that because then you won't be able to see it, but that's a great tip if you're working at home. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with a pretty, a pretty big brush here. This is my Big Daddy brush. And then I'm going to start with a dollop of the white. And it looks like about a quarter size dollop. Pretty big quarter there. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe a dollar <laughs> size coin. Um, and then I'm also going to do some beautiful Viridian, this comes with our kit, and I wanna go ahead and do like, let's give a little visual on this too. All right, so I will do about a quarter size dollop of that. Then I have my cyan blue. All right, so this is our beautiful cyan blue, and I'll go ahead and do About a dime size amount there. All right, now I'm gonna kind of push all this together and see where I'm at. May have to adjust a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix all this. And this should give me a really pretty turquoise color. And it does give me that. Very happy with the way that's looking. All right, now I also wanna make sure that I have another big dollop of white paint off to the side. And then the other thing I make sure I've got off to the side is silver dollar size amount of black, just ready to kind of tap into. And we're gonna to start to do this really beautiful uh, wash over the background. 
So I'll take my brush and I'll just start to go ahead and paint all the way up and down. So I'll take this all the way up and down here. And then a little bit of white and I'll touch into this. See, and as I pull this through, I just drag that white all the way through the paint here. Now again, if you are working at home, you wanna go ahead and just make sure that it is flat. And then you wanna go ahead and you can, this is when you can use a little bit of water too. So I can just touch my brush into a little bit of water and then I can extend that paint and just make it wash all the way across. And I wanna make sure that I have firm pressure that is going all the way through here. And I don't lift off pressure until I'm all the way off the surface area. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this back, oops, back to the vertical position and just keep working this in here. And then I wanna go ahead and touch a little bit into the black. Let me show you what that looks like as well. So I just barely touch into a teeny amount of black. And I'm gonna extend that all the way through. And it's really important that I'm working on already wet paint too. So it's wet paint to wet paint. So I get a nice soft blend on that because if the paint were already set up and dry, then you would have a really harsh dry brush of black that would hit in over the top and you don't want that. And then I have my trace already done with the Sharpie, so it will bleed through. So that is a wonderful thing to have happen here. There's two different options on the trace. So you can actually just do your entire background first and get all that set up, let it completely set up and dry. And then once that's done, then you can come back in and just trace everything right over the top. And that way you'll see it really well. I would encourage you to do that, especially if you only have a pencil because this background will go ahead. It will actually eliminate a lot of the pencil line anyway. Now, if you have a Sharpie, then you can certainly go ahead and do all of your trace ahead of time and get it all Sharpied out to where it's very um, strongly visual and will bleed through the paint here. So either way, but on this one, I strongly encourage as much as possible with Sharpie so that the paint can extend all the way through the design. So either way on that. All right, so we're pushing in a lot of white while the paint's still wet. And then occasionally we'll also just do a tiny little light touch of the black. So just barely touch into the black. And then push that through, wet paint to wet paint. And just take that all the way through. All right, so I'm gonna do another little push of this turquoise. And then I'll push into the white. And just drag that all the way across. And up here, it went a little bit more to a teal, which if you like more of that, you can certainly do that. But that has a little bit more of a green hue to it. I do wanna talk about that a little bit too. So you could absolutely take just maybe a little bit more of a touch of what's called like a bright yellow green and go ahead and place it into the mix here. And you can already see how that kind of pushed it to just a little bit more of that teal. So that's a really pretty look too, that you can do a little bit of that. And again, just really long vertical lines here. Every once in a while, every once in a while you'll see me kind of lean back. I've got to get a better visual of it and my film lights are pretty bright, so I'll have to kind of get a little bit of distance from it. So I'm gonna push a little bit more of that bright yellow green in there too, just so you can kind of feel for how that looks in the space. I'm gonna come in with more white, and then more of that turquoise again. So I'm definitely alternating back and forth between a lot of these colors here. 
So there's a lot of play with the turquoise, for sure. In terms of how it looks, and you can definitely vary it. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more time what it looks like with a little bit more of that water over the surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it flat. And then I'm taking that same big daddy brush and I'm gonna go ahead and push into a little bit of water. And again, it has to be flat or else you'll get water runs. Another brush here. But this is really helpful for getting a nice wash over the surface and definitely helping to extend that paint to help it reach a lot more over the surface area. I want to make sure everything's still peeking through. All right, so there we go. Okay, so it's very faint and it may be challenging for y'all to even see up there in the monitor, but I'm gonna start to firm back in that detail again with my little bit brush. That's the smallest brush that I've got. And I will say that in terms of being a little bit more beginner friendly, I would say that it would be much easier to actually let all of this completely set up and dry. And then you'll wanna come back into it afterwards you could actually come back in with a sharpie if you wanted to just to help firm up every line first definitely makes it more beginner friendly or you can proceed just like i'm doing now and just take a small brush this is your little bit brush and then a little bit of black here i just do a little twist into the black and you can thin out your black too to have finer detail by adding a little bit of water to it but again if you do that make sure that your canvas is completely flat but you definitely have a lot of freedom to be able to do that if the canvas is flat all right so i've got a nice fine point here and i'm going to go ahead and start to firm up this detail And so because mine's still wet, I'm getting a little bit of a soft blend on this. But that can definitely have a nice look to it. And again, this is just Mars black paint. And this is my little bit brush. And the basic little shapes in here, a way to simplify it in your brain, they're really just little hearts. So this is a little heart in here with little curly cues that come in. And then I just do a bigger heart here. And that's basically what's making up the shapes that happen in the interior of this shape here with the crosses. And then from here I just connect with the line work inside. And then I just make little curly cues, but basically it's like a circle. And another way to think about making a little curly cue, I think that helps people connect to it, is you wanna give your brain a simple task that it can relate to. So I tell people it's a lot like making like the number six. So just think of it like that, but that's also very similar to this little curly cue shape. And then let's see here. Try to see it. It's really got a lot of good coverage here.
So another little baby heart right there that's just upside down. Definitely a lot of curly cues on this one. Oh, my bracelet's getting into this. Whoops. Okay, bye-bye bracelet. <laughs> Boy, it has some amazing reach. I didn't realize it was, I didn't even feel that. So I'm gonna fix that real quick. All right, well, that brings me to my saying, there are no mistakes, only possibilities. So I'll have to make a possibility out of this. Take my mama brush and push into a little bit of water. Do a little bit of a vertical stroke through there. That'll just kind of wash out that little spackle in there. Get that going back with that pattern. All right, I'm gonna have to go ahead and turn this flat. So I need to add a little bit of water to this to help lift that paint right off. But if I do it in a vertical state, then it will give me a run. So I need to make sure, and just for a moment, I'm gonna have to turn it flat and I'll get it going back the other direction here in a second. All right. All right, cool. So I lifted that off. And that's another little helpful hint too. If you happen to get a little marking somewhere accidentally while you're painting, just a lot of times what you can do is you can just turn it flat and then you can take just a tiny amount of water with like a Q-tip or a small brush and just barely lift off that paint while it's still wet. There's actually another video I need to make that just has basic generalized tips. And that is definitely one of those that needs to be in that lesson. Because every, just about every class we do, it seems like we have to teach people how to do almost like what I would call an erasing technique if you do happen to get a little possibility, if you will, as <laughs> you're working. So it definitely happens. So lots of pretty line work here that comes in right over the top. And again, this is all really easy with our traceable. So it makes it really super fun and easy. So you do not have to be um, a talented artist that knows how to draw naturally. You can actually just trace all of this design work right over the top. And you can actually make it even easier with a Sharpie if you want to as your first step to help give you a really strong visual on it. And then you can go over it with your little bit brush and your black paint. Or a paint pen too is another option. It's just one step above a Sharpie. So it's a little bit more of that painterly feel but having that absolute precision of the paint pen. And then I've got little curly cues. 
coming out here on all the little sides. It's kind of an, a long line and then it just goes in for a little curl. I'm going to do this top one. And then in terms of getting details down, if you're struggling a little bit with a steady hand, I always encourage people to rest the weight of their hand on their pinky, and that will definitely help stabilize. So this takes on a really fun, beautiful, ornate look as you build all the pattern here. So it just takes a lot of patience. And then here in the center, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in with that black, solid black. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my little buddy brush and just push into a little bit of that black paint that we already have on our plate. And I'll just fill this in. Beautiful center there. Okay, so now we're going to learn a really fun dot technique. And so for this, I wanna go ahead and use the handle of the brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dip into some black paint here, just like that. And then I'll go ahead and make a few of these little fun dots. And you can make these dots smaller if you want to, just use a smaller brush handle. And the same technique, so you just press firmly down on the canvas and it makes a nice perfect circle every time. black dots done. Now it's time for some white accents. All right, so I want my little bit brush again. So this will be a little bit here and some white paint. So I do a quick little twist here into the paint that will load it up, but it also twists it into a really nice fine point. And again, feel free to add a little bit of water to the texture to help make it easy, easier to manipulate. But if you do that, again, just make sure that your canvas is on a flat surface so that you do not get any water runs. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice little sketch of a line all the way around here, just adding nice little highlights.
And then we have just a few here in the interior space. And again, just little light touches. Almost kind of feels like making tiny little dashes. And then you can make a few little white dots in here too. So I'm gonna use a smaller handle, dip into the white, and just add a few little touches of little white dots here too. Wonderful. Okay, so now, again, this is a really, it always looks, it, I think it's, this is a funny painting because I think it really intimidates people a little bit. And then when they get to doing it, they realize, wow, this is a lot easier than I thought. So it ends up being a very kind of a fast, fun, simple painting. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the lettering now. So working at home, what I would encourage you to do is to go ahead and let all this set up and dry. So it just makes it a whole lot easier to work this in. And then you can go ahead and do either a word or a letter uh, that comes in over the top. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make, my paint's still a little bit wet, that's okay. And so actually I'll just dig right into it, but you'll be able to see it. That's kind of a fun technique actually, if you like it. So that's interesting. So you could just leave it just like that or paint over it too. So I'm gonna take my little bit brush, make sure it is clean and dry. I'll go ahead and give it a quick wipe. It's just moist. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little spin into the white paint. Just twist in there, rotate it into a nice fine point. And then I'll go ahead and go right over the top here and again, if your paint is dry, then you won't get any blend on this. It'll just have more of that solid white that will just rest right on top. We're getting a little bit of a blend because the paint is still wet. All right, so we've got our H in there, and I'm gonna do just a few more little light touches of white here on the sides. All right, wonderful. And of course, this is a kind of a fun minimal approach. If you wanna add more dots or details or um, light highlights, you can certainly do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just stop. I'm loving the simplicity of it and the way it looks at this point. So my next step would just be to sign my masterpiece. And so I just, I actually prefer using a little Sharpie to sign because there's just a lot of precision with that. So there we go, and we're done. Alrighty, so this is our beautiful monogram cross. And again, it does come with a traceable to make it super fun and easy for you to use and it's available on our website tipsyartist.com and we just want to thank you so very very much for joining us today uh, the tutorial will be up forever on both youtube and facebook so you're always welcome to do it anytime and we have all the supplies that you need online and we just thank you so very much and y'all have a beautiful day